talk about the ovarian cycle. But first, what is ovarian cycle? Ovarian cycle is the normal sex cycle that includes development of an ovarian follicle, rupture of the follicle, discharge of the ovum, and formation and regression of a corpus luteum. So let us go now to the cycle. I am the female reproductive system. And the ovarian cycle happens here in the ovary. At sexual maturity, each of a woman's ovaries contains about 200,000 immature eggs called primary oocytes. A primary oocyte is diploid and is arrested in prophase 1 of meiosis. A layer of follicle cells surrounds each primary oocyte. Together, an oocyte and its follicle cells make up a follicle. By day 7, all but one of the developing follicles begins to degenerate. The remaining follicle continues to develop and its follicle cells continue to pump it with nourishment and also supply it with proteins and informational molecules needed for early stages of development. The maturing primary oocyte completes meiosis I and divides into two haploid cells. Each of these cells receives half the chromosomes. However, one cell called the polar body receives very little cytoplasm. The other, now a secondary oocyte, enters meiosis II and arrests there until fertilization. At day 40, ovulation occurs and the secondary oocyte erupts from the ovary. The oviduct contains microscopic cilia that beat and draw in the released oocytes. This immature egg enters an oviduct where it may become fertilized by a sperm cell and complete meiosis. The follicle cells that are left behind develop into a small mass of endocrine tissue called the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum remains in the ovary of the f for two weeks secreting the hormones estrogen and progesterone. At the end of the ovarian cycle, if the woman is not pregnant, the corpus luteum disintegrates. <laughs>